the deceased and from the relatives. Uh, as for the postmortem process, uh, we were able to do a total of 36 postmortems. Of this, 16 were children, 19 were adults. One uh, we were unable to ascertain whether it's adult or, uh, or, or, or a child, so it was in between. Uh, the number of males were 17 and females were 19. Many of them were severely decomposed, being that the 23 of them were severely decomposed. 11 were just moderately decomposed, but uh, two were mild, meaning that they were not badly decomposed. The cause of death from all of these, majority we found that they were died because of features of starvation, which were 23 of them. Four of them we found that they had asphyxia. And remember, I told you asphyxia is uh, someone who was denied oxygen uh, prior to death. Seven of them we were unable to ascertain why they died because of the level of decomposition. Then we found a child who had head injury. We also found an adult who had a, a disease, coronary disease, because we found that he had, she had a kidney and a heart disease. So that is all. Yes. So the, the, ones that, the ones who had asphyxia, were they children or adults? Uh, they, were, they, they, were, they were actually children, because we found one who had the obvious features of being compression of the neck. Actually three were children, one was an adult. Yes. Kwa uchunguzi wenye labda hizi mwili zinaweza kuwa zilizikwa kwa kwa Ah it's very difficult to say when they were buried but when you look at the, the level of, uh, of of decomposition there are difference in level of decomposition and I've said that 23 were severely decomposed meaning that these ones were buried earlier uh, 11 were moderately decomposed so they were buried later then the ones who were mildly decomposed were also even buried uh, even later Yes, yes. So they were being buried at different stages. On yes. the issue of internal organs, sir? Yes. Internal organs? All of them had uh, all their internal organs intact. I didn't see any person who had a missing internal organ. Yes. The issue of DNA, who is meeting the post of the test? Uh, being that it's a, what, something which is a, under investigation because of a justice, I don't think any relative will be told to meet any cost. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. When, when, when do you foresee yourself perhaps concluding this exercise here? Because today you've moved quite a bit. A I, as you can see, we've been moving faster and faster because we gained the tempo of the autopsy process. So we believe that within the next two days we'll be through with the postmortem process. So that now, if the weather is good for us,